Welcome everybody. Welcome to this open day at the School of Business and Economics of Maastricht University. My name is Jaap Bos and this is Fahira Kabir. We are currently in the lecture hall, which is where we start our journey as a part of this open day. But we also talk to you about student life in Maastricht, what you can expect in the next three years and what you can expect afterwards. So let's get started and welcome to this open day. At the School of Business and Economics, education comes first. The key evidence of that is our Triple Crown accreditation, recognizing our emphasis for high quality education. First and foremost, we are an international school of business and economics. Nearly half of our staff is non-Dutch. We have 5,000 students from 70 different countries. Adding to the international experience are the many exchange students that visit the Maastricht University School of Business and Economics every year. Most of the time, you will not be sitting in a lecture hall, but in a room like this one, sitting with a small group of students and a tutor working on real-life problems. That's why we focus on teaching you four key competences. First and foremost, knowledge and insight. We want you to know what you're talking about. Secondly, academic attitude. Because being an economist is not just about knowing today's knowledge, but also knowing about how to acquire tomorrow's knowledge. Thirdly, we focus on interpersonal competences. You'll be working in a team with others during your studies and afterwards, solving those real life problems. How do you do that? And finally, for the International School of Business and Economics, we want you to acquire knowledge about global citizenship. How do you work together with people with many different backgrounds and many different cultures? So, first things first, I guess it's quite interesting to reflect on my decision three years ago and what pushed me towards Maastricht University. I think it's quite an unconventional story when you hear about a girl from Bangladesh coming all the way to Maastricht to pursue her bachelor's, but there are certain unique factors about Maastricht that really struck out for me. First and foremost, I think it was a problem-based learning method. I'd always learned in a setting where my education really revolved around textbooks, so when I started a new chapter in my life, I wanted a fresh perspective. The problem-based learning method helps you to facilitate learning not just through textbook but via discussion. And I think the major advantage that you gain when you learn through conversation is that you know how to apply the theory that you're absorbing into real-life situations. PBL also teaches you teamwork because you learn to work with people from different countries and different internationalities within one room. You also learn um, skills about public speaking, because even when there are a myriad of opinions in the room, you learn to voice your one. So that way it also helps to generate some confidence inside you. So when I reflect back on my week, it mainly comprises of, of course, some studying, tutorials, lectures. I have some meetings with my team members, as well as some meetings with the consultancy that I'm working with. But moving on to the fun side of things, I have lunches and as well as some fun brunches planned with my friends throughout the week that are scattered. And um, if you're studying in Maastricht, then your week will probably comprise of a lot of trips to coffee lovers. So I think there are um, actually a lot that you can get involved with university. Um, Scope is one of the largest study associations that we have and they organize so many trips. They also do a lot of career events for you. I learned a lot about presentation skills. I learned a lot about thinking analytically and most importantly I found some of my closest friends there. Maastricht is a small city compared to where I come from and where my roots lie in Bangladesh so it's for me quite a change of scenery and it's something that I really enjoy the ability to be able to walk to everywhere in 15 minutes and also the fact that whenever you head, head out of your house you're bound to meet some people that you already know. Maastricht's the coziest city you'll find in Europe. <laughs> so we told you a lot about what it's like to study at SBE. Now it's time to get a little bit more serious. Sit back, relax, but listen carefully as we tell you a little bit more about the contents of this study program. Hello everyone. My name is Rudolf Müller and I'm the program leader of the bachelor program Business Analytics. We live in a digital world. Look around you. We are streaming music and movies, play games, shop online, order food, communicate with family and friends, share our photos and videos by all kinds of digital devices. The same applies to companies who have digitalized all essential business functions from marketing to supply chain management 
and from human resources to finance and accounting. Governments are catching up with high speed. All these digital interactions create tons of data and that data has value as it can provide insights. But how can we gain such insights? What insights are relevant from a business and government perspective? And what is the impact of these insights on us as citizens and our society? Let us look at an example of our daily life. You hopefully can agree with me that we all should reduce our impact on the environment. For example, our carbon footprint. But we also want to keep our quality of life. And we want to have many more people in the world to enjoy the same quality. How can business analytics help? The key word is precision. And to keep it simple, let us talk about food. Data analytics starts nowadays on the farm with precision farming. Sensors can collect 24-7 data about the soil, the crops and the weather. Analyzing that data allows harvesting at the right moment and reducing the amount of irrigation and fertilizers needed. Once harvested, analytics helps to bring the right amount to the shelf in the supermarket, such that a minimum is left over at the end of the day. How? Well, with all kinds of customer data, shops can make very precise demand predictions. Is there too much supply? Then algorithms can offer customized discounts during the day to give extra incentives to buy what is left. Last but not least, analytics is entering our private homes and will soon suggest what to cook given the content in the fridge and automatically order online what is missing. You do not like cooking? Well, wait for the cooking robot to come or let it be the job of your favorite delivery service. To make all this happen, you as a business analytics student will learn how to harvest the various kinds of data sources, reaching from sensor data in the field to online recipes. How to learn from data about customer preferences and how to make purchase predictions and recommendations. How to make a meaningful selection of data analytical methods from a business and economics perspective. As by far not everything that is possible has business value and not everything is desirable from a societal point of view. So, why study business analytics in Maastricht? This program is truly multidisciplinary. You will acquire a solid knowledge of different fields in business and economics together with data analytical skills to tackle problems. You will do so in specially designed courses and projects that blend analytics with business and economics topics. Thereby, you will get to know and learn to ask the key questions in management and policy design where analyzing data is an essential part of the solution. You get to know and learn to apply the essential tools developed over the past decades by smart people and how to extract insights from data. For instance, data mining and visualization, statistics, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Last but not least, you will learn to judge the impact of these fancy tools for business, people and the society and how they can be used to solve burning issues of our world. Here is an overview of the courses you will follow. An academic year is divided into two semesters and six periods. You will study core courses in periods 1, 2, 4 and 5 and acquire software and project skills in the shorter periods 3 and 6. In your first and second year, you will take compulsory courses which will build a theoretical foundation in business analytics. In your third year, you will begin to take electives. 
which help you prepare for a particular master's program or a specific type of job in the labor market. You will also have the opportunity to apply your knowledge in a research project or during an internship and write a bachelor thesis. Lastly, in the business analytics program, you will be required to study abroad for one semester. We have an extensive network of more than 150 partner universities around the world. This gives you the opportunity to expand your knowledge and of other cultures and practices. So what does your time look like after your bachelor at Marsic University? Well, you might start a job or an internship or... Or you could be starting a master's at a brand new facility right behind us here at Topine. So enough about us. It's time to talk about you. What are we looking for in our new students? Well, we are an international school. We do have a problem-based learning system. So what kind of students do we want? Freya. Okay, so reflecting back, I think the students that we probably need at SBE are those that are ambitious, those who carry the ability to work in teams. And simultaneously, I feel like we need people who also know how to have fun um, and really know how to strike a balance between their academic lives as well as their social lives here at the university. We think that knowledge is not just absorbed, it's exchanged. It's a two-way street and you contribute to the success of our program just as much as we do. If you truly want to know what it means to be an SBE student and get a first-hand experience of what it's like to be spending a day um, as one of us, then do check out our student live stories or check out our Instagram on the Bachelor Open Days. Or join us for one of our virtual experience days where you can really experience what it's like to be a student at SBE for a day. We look forward to welcoming to you, you next, next year. year. <laughs> See you, See you next, next year. year. Let's go get a coffee.